Welcome to this demonstration of the ANSYS New Hertz Filter Solutions application. To begin the application, go to the Start menu, locate the ANSYS EM Program Group, and find the Filter Solutions application to begin the application. When the application loads, it may come up in the Filter Quick interface. Advanced users may wish to use the advanced mode of the software, but you can switch back by clicking the Filter Quick menu again, which is what we'll use for this demonstration. In this demonstration, we're going to synthesize a bandpass filter that is a Chebyshev Type 1 realization, and we're going to set specifications for the performance of the filter. We'll keep the same passband ripple, we'll set the center frequency for 3.65 gigahertz, and request a passband width of 150 megahertz. Now in this realization, you can see the ideal response in the lower right, and a schematic of ideal elements on the lower left. We're going to realize a distributed filter and set it for alumina with a thickness of 0.762 millimeters. Once we set the parameters for our substrate, the best realization for each topology is shown in the lower right against the ideal parameters, ideal S parameters for the response. We can step through each realization type and a quick optimization will do a, a fast optimization of the EM-based components of each of the parts and pieces of the transmission line filters. So here you can see as we step through the various realizations, a comparison is made of the first pass quick optimized version of the filter against the ideal filter transfer function response. We can turn on mitered corners to improve the realized uh, performance of uh, some of these uh, mitered corner constructions that go into the filter. For our demonstration realization, we're going to select hairpin resonators. And as you can see, the distributed S parameter response is updated. And this on the lower right and on the lower left, the response or the schematic of the filter, including the relevant physical parameters. We can also show a layout view of the filter and a 3D view of the filter that one can rotate to view. The filter design is now completed and ready for delivery to the electronic simulation. So to set that up, we go to the export window, ANSYS Direct Setup, and indicate whether we want to export a circuits design, a 3D HFSS design, or a 3D layout design. Any of the three can be selected. We will choose an HFSS design, and you can set the name for the design after it's exported into electronics desktop. Note also that all the reports that you desire can also be defined. Now we go back to the export menu, choose ANSYS Direct, and the design is packaged up, delivered automatically to Electronics Desktop. Electronics Desktop will be launched, and the filter's physical design will be synthesized and constructed in an HFSS project ready for simulation. All of the parameters of this filter will be stored under the design parameters and you can change any of them as you wish or use them for optimization or parametric sweep analysis. The structure has a default air box size and we're going to change it so that we have five millimeters of air above to the cover of the filter enclosure so that we can model coupling effects to the filter enclosure lid. There's our completed filter. And it's basically ready for simulation. Now note that in the process of building out the design the analysis setup has also been pre-computed for you, including uh, broadband mesh adaption settings, so you don't have to touch them. You may want to change the, the tolerance for convergence if you wish. Note also that result definitions are also there. You can go straight to analysis with this filter design. It will ask you to save and analysis proceeds. Once the analysis is complete, the auto-generated reports will automatically populate and you can begin to look at things like S-parameter response, surface currents, electric or magnetic fields, or any other quantity of interest uh, that you want to, uh, to trap. I, the, the, the default setup will automatically save fields for the design. As you've seen, ANSYS New Hertz Filter Solutions puts you on a path to quickly synthesize complex filters and validate them through the ANSYS Electronics Desktop and HFSS.